time because uh, just look over there on the computer you'll see it'll sit in between that 490 to 510 read and it should go up this time now. So it'll climb up now, so it'll be under that 20 grams this time. It'll slightly climb up the first time and it's going up for the first time, it takes its time, so it'll go up to 730 before it reads, so it'll read. So this time we've got at 30.5 degrees, 11 grams, and back around here yeah, we've got 17 grams still. Right, so what we're going to do this time is we don't want to drill too many holes in it. Um, a few reasons. One, because it looks really bad for a start, but uh, the second reason it can create oil drag if your cranky is running into oil. Um, Got a dry sump set up or something where the oil is going near the tank, it's not going to make too much difference, but it's uh, a lot neater if you don't have a million holes in it. Um, so we can machine the outer web of the tank with a, a belt launcher. Sometimes it's, if there's a lot to machine off, we can machine it off in a crank grinding machine or a lathe, something like that, um, in which that will machine the whole diameter. Um, we can only do that if the weight is out in the center of the web. Um, so it takes an even amount of both throughout the whole web and keeps the weight where we want it where we want to be. We don't want it to spin around to the big end uh, because being that there's not much meat to take off around this area, you know, there's, there's probably five grams you can take off without weakening the crank, so we try to stay over at the web if we can. If uh, if we did have to machine a large amount off the big end side, uh, what we do is instead of taking that large amount out, out, we put a heavier weight and drill a weight sideways and press in what's called mallory metal. So we, we will never drop it in this way and then weld over the top, which some people do. Um, the reason why we don't do it is that big revving motors, uh, weld can come out and therefore the mallory will come out and shoot through the side of your block, uh, which you don't want. So. We will always drill sideways in a, in a press and drill and ream and press in only. We won't weld. Um, it's a tight press tip um, and you'll never shift it. So that's the way we do it if we have to add weight instead of taking a lot of weight out of your conoid side. So it's a nice, nice thing to machine. In. in this circumstance, we only have to take weight out of the web side, so that's fine. So what we're going to do here is just, uh, and they will drill the existing hole a little bit deeper on this side. Um, I'm not going to make another hole. Uh, when it gets close, we will use the linishing belt. And on the right side, we'll uh, drill the existing hole a little bit deeper too. And then on the second, third time round, we'll probably use the linishing belt just to finish off. Okay, so we're coming up for our third spin. Drill those two holes a little bit deeper. Let's see what we get. So it's just spin up at a faster speed now again. Spin up a bit quicker this time as it's been there already. So it's just wearing. Okay, it's ready up. Okay, so a bit close to 5 gram, 5.4 at the front. And at the back we've got 12 grams. So what we'll do now, we'll use a lanishing belt. Um, just to, once we're in about 10 grams sort of range, we'll use a lanishing belt. So um, we don't want to go drilling either too many holes or holes that are too deep. So we'll keep it neat. And also we stop cranks if you can see. Um, when they come from the factory, usually got all sharp edges and stuff, so we'll, we'll go over all these um, with a linishing belt anyway and, and then chamfer the holes so they've got no sharp edges and bits that may go into the motor later on. So we'll clean all that up at the very end, just before we do our last spin, just make sure it doesn't affect anything. For so now, we'll use the linishing belt and so we go. Alright, 
so we've uh, finished the webs this time around. You can see it's a bit meaner and shinier looking. Cleaned up all these holes, we've still got a chamfer on, but we've taken off all the dags and sharp edges over all the webs. And also taken out uh, a fair bit out of the positions that we need to take some way down on those front and back webs. And just clean up all these holes as well. So we'll spin it up again and see where we're at. So we're at 5 and 12. When we get down to a closer amount of grams, if it's only two, three, four grams, um, it doesn't sound like a lot, but two or three grams at 750 RPM is a lot different. It changes to you know, whatever the calculation may be, depending on the diameter, uh, maybe kilos at eight or 9,000. You can see the front's hit zero, which is lucky this time, but we've got to fix the front up, the back up, which will probably change the front again, so don't get too excited. So it's nine and a half to take out of the back, so we'll finish a bit more off it, and then uh, give it another spin. Alright, so we've done a bit more linishing. We've chamfered the holes now. You can see we've taken all the sharp edges off all the holes, and we're ready for another spin up now, so it should be pretty close now. Let's see how we go. Once this is done, uh, we always do the crank by itself. We don't do it all as one unit. We don't put the pulley on, flywheel, pressure plate, all as one hit and then just take it off wherever we feel like it. Um, because later on down the track, if you want to change your flywheel or pressure plate, um, you won't know if the crank's balanced by itself or not. So do the crank first, and then once that's right, we do your outer bits one by one. So we're pretty close now. Front, we've got 1.3. You can see how the back's affected the front, it's brought it, brought it back out a little bit. Um, so there's not much to take off there, and then at the back we've got 2.7. So we'll just give that a bit of a finish. Alright, so last spin up now, hopefully, with a pressure plate. It's on about half a gram. Uh, we're on zero. So that's it, digital engine balancing. Uh, ready to run on the motor now, and 100% balanced. So.